If your company are manufacturing, you may need to charge your customer sales tax. Today, if you are using AutoCount system, what is the setting you need to do? You only can generate the SSD invoice. And how you can generate the SSD02 report from AutoCount system? How you issue the payment voucher to make payment? So all this, if you don't know, you must watch this video. I will give you the basic guide on how to do it. Let's have a watch of this video. Say you are using AutoCount system and you need to issue SSD invoice to your customer. So you must enable the SSD function in AutoCount system. So if you don't know, you can watch my previous video. I already show you that how you're going to enable the setting. So after enable the setting, the next you need to do is you have to key in your tariff code. So how to get a tariff code? You can go to the JKDM website. You can search there or you can ask your auditor. So after you get this, then you can just go on top. There's a tax tariff maintenance. So inside this tariff maintenance, you can add in all the SS code or tariff code inside. You just click on the new, then you just key in the tariff code and the description. So I just give you a sample like this. So the tariff code and the description of this tariff code. So after done of this, next you need to do is you have to fill inside your item. So you can just go to the store items maintenance. So inside this store item maintenance, right? You can just double click in and then you can just edit your items. Okay, so once you edit, you can see that there's a tariff code here. So you can just select this item is belong to which tariff code. So after done, you can just OK. So if you have a lot of items you need to fill in, the more simple way is you can just click on the find. So once you click on find, you just key in the keyword. Like for example, today's my playwood. I just search, there will come out all the necessary keywords I key in. So you can just click on check all and then you can just easy item. So once you click on here, you can just click on select all, run set, then I can apply all these items to the same tariff code. Like for example, all this is belong to the, this one. I just pick and apply. So once done, I can just click on save. So this is a simple way you can set assign all the items to the same tariff code. So if you want to know, is it all already have a tariff code? You can just right click column chooser. So you can see that there's a column called tariff code. You can just pull out the tariff code column. Then you can see that all these items already have a tariff code. So after done all this, then you can start to issue invoice with SSD to your customer. So you can just as per normal, just go to the sales and open a sales invoice. Just create a new and pick your customer. So once you pick your customer and you can just add in the items. Okay, so because you've already set the sales tag of how many percent, so you can see that they will come out automatically how many percent. So you can see that it's 10%. So if I want to know that this item is it have tariff code, very simple. You can just right click, column chooser, then you can pull out the same tariff code. So the tariff code column you pull out, then you can see that this already have a tariff code. So once done, you can just approve this invoice if you have invoice. So this is how you're going to generate the SSD invoice. So you can just try to print out, just preview, and you can select SSD invoice format and just click OK. You can see that they will show you that this item with 10% sales tax. And below, they will show you that the sales tax amount and the percentage. Okay, so this is how you're going to generate the SSD invoice. Once you have done this, if monthly or two months, you need to generate the SSD02 report, you can just go on top. There is a tax SSD. There is two reports here. One is called SSD processor and one is called SSD instant info. So SSD instant info meaning that I just want to check through. So you can just come in here. System will calculate all the figure out. And you can see that there is a SSD02 sales for sales tax. So once you open, you can see that the figure already all inside. You may see that your sales tax number and then your company, your submission period is from August to September. So this is the deadline. Because you already fill in the tariff code, so all the product sales system will filter out and categorize for you 
which category for how much the sales and you can see here and of course like below if you got the five percent or ten percent system will break out for you okay five percent how much sales ten percent how much sales you can just double click the figure actually you can get the figure how system calculate for you just remember for this instant info is just for the draft for you all to view only not for submission okay so if you want to submit the sst you can just go on top there is a text sst sst processor so you can just go to sst processor here you can see that okay last submission when and new you can submit a new one so system will ask you do you want to generate the SSC report from August to September. If yes, just click yes. So system will calculate all the figure out for you. And it will be the same SST02 sales. So all this, this is the figure system calculate for you. And before you submit or before you commit, there's a button called other SST info. You need to fill in the person of submit, IC number, destination, telephone number, and click OK. So all this information actually later on you are shown in the last page. You can see that the last page all the information will be shown over here. So if you confirm all the figure, you can just click on commit. So commit means that system will lock the figure and have to pass a journal entry for this sales tax. So you can just click on commit, then you just fill in the password. So you in the password and click OK. So once you click OK to confirm again, yes. So once you yes to confirm, you can see that the button will become view committed journal. System will have to pass a journal entry. So you can just click in, you can see the entry. So you can see that the entry will be go to the debit to sales tax account and credit to SST control account. Okay, so this is how you generate the SST02. So if you want to make a payments, you can just go to the GL cash pool entry. So you just create a new payment voucher so when you come to here the pay to like for example today you pay to custom description okay so this is for SST August and September for 2025 then payment method I pay by bank and the account number which account number you need to choose the answer is SST control account so you just key in SST control account and how much you want to pay like for example 700 so done I can just save Okay, so this is the whole process how to generate the SSD 02 and how to make payments. Of course, this one cannot direct submit online. So all the figure you still have to log into the my SSD portal to fill in all the figure inside to do submission. Okay, so I hope this video can help you to know that how we're going to generate the SSD function and how to make payment. So follow our social media, we will share you more information regarding the auto count and e-invoice. My name is Eddie your auto account software providers.